It's 52 past 12. This is the second day and the final day. Second and final? The second and last day of Yours and Ours Festival 2018. And I am still at John DeHaan's place here, John DeHaan in East Carmel. And <laughs> Loretta and John have both evacuated. As soon as I said, I've got to do my daily vlog, they're like, we're out. We're not in it, we're out. But this is John's place and he's been super accommodating to let me come and stay here. It's been a great time. The festival, I mean, oh, how can I explain? The bands, the local bands on the rad stage, that's where most of the action happened for me at this festival. Now, that's not to discourage any of like the main acts such as well, in my mind, Tropical Fuckstorm, which is Gareth Lydiard's band, second band. And I believe the bass player from the Drones is also in that band. It's hard to tell, though, because every time I've seen the Drones, she faces the other way. Yet in this band, she faces the right way. So if you, if you know who I'm talking about, confirm that that is the bass player from the Drones playing in Tropical Fuckstorm. But then we also had Tumbleweed, which is a Wollongong band. They headlined... Now, I'm going to be honest, unfortunately, it seemed like majority of crew didn't really know anything about this band, and that's a bit disheartening. I'm 43. Does that just mean I'm showing my age? I thought Tumbleweed deserved a bigger crowd. They... I also think they came out banging with all their tunes off the bat, and they maybe should have spread them out over the course of what was it, 45 minute set? Um, they, they came out with Carousel, which is probably their biggest song and, actually no, probably not, Sundial is probably their biggest song. Anyway, it was great to see and I'm stoked, but I just don't feel like many of the kids really wanted to see it. But on the local stage, man, we had some great times. There's a local guy called Josh. Now he played in three bands, three different bands in sequence. So he was like, I remember when he came out on the first band, what was their, what was their name? Jaguar? Man, I'm going to have to look back at the list. Uh, I photographed it, but I can't remember the name of it. But when he came out, I remember the drummer in that band said, welcome to the hour and a half of Josh. And I didn't know what that meant, obviously, because I'm not sure who the dude was. But then... The next band came on and he was in that same band and then the third band came on and he was in that same band again and I was like, okay, that's what this hour and a half of Josh meant. And this dude was great to watch. Um, incredible guitarist. Loretta snuck back here. I'm gonna put her in the vlog. She's gonna be in the vlog. Oh, she... <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, um, this is, if I could talk now a little bit about She's gone, but Loretta just happened to casually mention that she kicked around in Chinali back in the day. Like, John and Loretta are maybe about eight, nine, ten years older than me, but they're like, but Loretta's from Chinali, so she knows all the stuff that I was talking about, all the venues and all the, the gigs and stuff. She's like ten years ahead of me from the same area. Now, that's strange. By the way, um, Tomorrow, uh, well, tomorrow is a public holiday, so that's why this festival is two days, Saturday and Sunday here in, well, not exactly.